Good morning everyone. I'm Nitish Mittal, third year medical student at Texas Tech Health Science Center, Lubbock, Texas. I got an opportunity to work with Dr. Ansari and Dr. Barrios on this amazing case titled Coronary Artery Fistula, Preconal and Retroconal Artery Ring. We have nothing to disclose here. The presentation is as follows. 45 year old male presented with episodic severe chest pain radiating to the left arm lasting around 30 minutes at rest, went to the ER and was diagnosed with NSTEMI, unstable angina. Vitals were as follows. Temperature was normal, heart rate was slightly on the lower end, respiratory rate was normal, blood pressure was okay, BMI was slightly high. So in our case, this is a perfect image that we got from Jack, cardiovascular imaging. Here you can see the ascending aorta, the descending aorta, as well as the conus. The number one mark is the preconal ring, and number two mark is the retroconal ring. In literature, you have seen the presence of either one of them. But in our case, we see the concomitant presence of both of them, which makes the case pretty unique. This is the coronary angiogram in which you can see that there are some vessels arising from proximal left system going superiorly and anteriorly. This is another projection showing a network of vessels arising from proximal left system. You can see the pulmonary catheter positioned in the main pulmonary artery as reference. These are another projections of the left system in which we can see mild coronary artery disease. This is the angiogram of the right system in which we can more clearly see anomalous vessels arising from the right system and we can delineate a more anterior as well as a more posterior network. This is just another view of the right system and in this one you can see the anterior and the posterior ring. In the first image, we will see a moderate 50% mid-right coronary artery stenosis, basically a pre-obstruction fistula. There was some concern for the network connecting to the pulmonary artery, so a right heart catheterization and pulmonary angiogram was performed. Here you can see the pulmonary trunk dividing into right and left pulmonary artery. We also took some CT scan images as well. Given the complexity of the coronary network, we wanted to further characterize with a gated cardiac coronary tomography. These views clearly show the connection between the right and left coronary artery. In figure four, you can clearly see the right coronary artery going to the anatomical right and fistula going to the anatomical left. In figure five, you can see the retroconal and the preconal fistula. Preconal fistula is going right above the pulmonary artery and retroconal is right behind that. Here are a few more pictures that clearly showcase the presence of fistula. In figure 6, you can clearly see the coronary artery ring forming. And in figure 7, you can see the preconal fistula going right over the pulmonary artery. At the end, here are some key takeaway points from our study. Prevalence of open-ended circulation with bidirectional flow between two coronaries is unknown and should be differentiated from coronary collaterals, which have distinct pathophysiology. To our knowledge, this is the first reported case of concomitant pre- and retroconal coronary ring communicating with right and left coronary circulations. Our hypothesis is that moderate stenotic lesions in RCA and LED had lower threshold to cause ischemia given the pre-obstruction fistula. Thank you.